Hi again. Maybe lost time at the beach. I don't know. This is Björkaga beach. And over there you have Kovi. Where I was married in the little chapel. 20 years ago. It's pretty nice here. All alone. And I was thinking about another interesting thing that I have been uh, uh, that I worked with the last time as a PE teacher in Gotlands commune. Uh, we had a special special program uh, all PE teachers at the gymnasium uh, the pupils uh, was between 16 and 19 I think and the first year we always uh, work with condition so they we learn how to train the condition the V O uptake uh, and it's not that easy to to measure and to do hard training with pupils that don't want to do it. So uh, walking is pretty good uh, to uh, get conscious or aware about low intensity condition training and then uh, we do medium and then we try maximum but they are not uh, they must not do all only try and afterwards they they sign their own training book uh, and get feedback what they what they felt about uh, the lecture and I did that and it was also some other questions I interviewed my pupils with uh, and I wrote them down in my special book uh, beside their names and it was question about what school they uh, come from what they thought about PE lessons uh, generally and maybe a following on uh, question about the teacher uh, then what they did uh, what they liked best to do uh, in the PE lessons and what they did not like to do and they saw that I signed and wrote down in the book and then I had a question about uh, what they did on their leisure time and maybe some following questions about the sport or activity to get to know them and to, to uh, also of course because if we talk with a person between four eyes they feel more uh, close to you afterwards and after that question about uh, training on their leisure time I had a question about uh, if they had some injury or ate some medicine uh, that will not uh, that will be a problem uh, in PE class and the last one was about uh, what grade they had as a goal because I know that it's very important with goals if you have goal a goal it's much easier to to uh, get it and then when I start looking at all the results after the, the walking low intensity and I saw that very many of the pupils that ate ADH medicine Concerta or Ritalina 
had very high pulse. And I thought that was interesting. How come that so many pupils had so high pulse when they were just walking? Normally, uh, average pupil had maybe 100 or 120 uh, beats per minute in heart rate. But all the other, all the pupils that had eight Ritalin or Concerta had, had 40 to 60 beats per minute higher. And two of the pupils had uh, almost 200 uh, in heart rate. And that was very, very interesting. One of the, the girls that had 200 in, in heart rate, she went to the doctor and, and was concerned about it. And the doctor only said, oh, it's, it's your genes, nothing to be worried about. And that was very interesting, I think. Uh, and we must be very, very worried about this result. Nothing was written about this in a paper. I tried to uh, talk with the newspaper. I called British Bensler, who's the chief, head chief of uh, Region Gotland, and she was also concerned. And she uh, consulted all the chiefs in the hospital to have a meeting about this. And then they asked all the uh, PE teacher uh, in the lower grades, if anyone had uh, recognized my study. And it was one that had done it, but then nothing happens, nothing at all. And we are here on Gotland, uh, those, we are, have most, more pupils uh, that eat Concerto Ritalina than no other place in Sweden. So we, we are the best uh, in this. I think uh, we are the worst to work with other things in the environment because that is science now, that it's in the environment that uh, make this problem for all these uh, intelligent with a special gene that could be contacting a uh, source instead if they live the, the life that I live. And how many inventions could not be done? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, in my little study I had, I think it was 120, almost 120 pupils in the first grade. And uh, it was if I can uh, remember right, uh, there was around 25 that ate Concerta or Ritalina. Uh, but ask British Bensler. Uh, I sent her mail and she knows everything. And the hospital chiefs also, I promise. Have a nice day. Bye bye.